Hello students, welcome to Academia. Today our topic is cell. So what is cell? First of all, the, we can say that the smallest unit of protoplasm which is capable of carrying independent existence is called cell. The word cell is first introduced by Robert Hooke in 1635 to 703. Cell is also defined as the structural and functional unit of living body. Most uh, cells in human being have diameter of 10 to 20 mu m. In multicellular organism, different cells have got various activities and accordingly the structures have been changed. But in unicellular organism, a single cell is capable of multiple functions. Generally, there are two types of cells. First of all, eukaryotic and prokaryotic. So, uh, the difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells are eukaryotic cells having ideal nucleus. Whereas, prokaryotic cells do not have ideal nucleus. What do we mean by ideal nucleus? So, ideal nucleus means the nucleus which have four parts or four components like nuclear membrane nucleoplasm nucleolus and nuclear fiber or chromatin fiber. So, when a nucleus having the four components like the nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm, nucleolus and nuclear fiber, then that nucleus is called ideal nucleus. So, we can see that the eukaryotic cells having this ideal nucleus whereas the prokaryotic cells do not have the ideal nucleus. Not only that but also the eukaryotic uh, ribosome is uh, ATS. Eukaryotic cells also having so here the ribosomes ATS ribosome we found And also, they have membranous organelles, whereas 
the prokaryotic cells are lacking of all these important characteristics so this is the basic difference that eukaryotic cells have ideal nucleus ats ribosome membranous organelles so the three principal constituents of eukaryotic cell are number 1 cell membrane number 2 cytoplasm and its organelles and number 3 is nucleus and its chromosome so the cell membrane which is the vital part of the cell because without the membrane there is no existence of the cell likewise the cytoplasm is also another vital part of the cell which uh, is present uh, within the cell and uh, in the cytoplasm it contain it act as a matrix and it contains all the membranous organelles of the cell and the next one is the nucleus which is also called the life of cell so nucleus which is very important most important structure uh, or organelle we can say which contain the chromosomes we all know that uh, in our body there are 46 number of chromosomes present so 46 number of chromosome means 23 pairs 22 plus xx or xy so these chromosomes are present in single cells so each and every cell having the nucleus and the nucleus contain the chromosomes the chromosomes present in a single cell is 23 pairs these 23 pairs of chromosomes are present in each and every cell of our body and how the chromosomes are made the chromosomes actually contain dna and histone protein so a single chromosome contain a single dna one chromosome means one dna and histone protein likewise the 46 chromosomes are present having 46 number of dna so this is very important so as the nucleus having all these things all the chromosomes inside it that's why it is very important to Uh, and considered as the life of the cell because we know that the dna is most important because from the dna there is formation of mrna the process is called transcription and from mrna there is formation of protein and the process is called translation so these two processes transcription translation are very important for production of protein and the dna is very important as it produce as it contain the genes so from the dna uh, dna contain uh, numerous 
genes and from the genes the active genes the active genes can produce the proteins now we discuss about the organelles organelles of eukaryotic cells are always membranous so they are the small internal organs of the cells which are concerned as organized units of living substance having important functions so the organelles include mitochondria for example mitochondria ribosome lysosome golgi body centriole er etc the nature and number of organelles determine the volume of the cytoplasm so, uh, many of the time we found that in a single cell there is presence of single nucleus in most of the cases but the number of mitochondria the number of ribosome the number of lysosome golgi body centri uh, and er endoplasmic reticulum varies so uh, for example mitochondria is uh, present in a, a huge number in the cells which have higher metabolic activities likewise the cells having more protein uh, synthesis having the more number of ribosome and plasmic reticulum so the number of organelles actually determines the volume of the cytoplasm now the inclusions so the inclusions are also present in the cytoplasm which are uh, non living substances like metabolites uh, carbohydrates uh, proteins crystals pigments secreting droplets etc so uh, they are um, opposite from the organelles because organelles are the living substances uh, whereas the inclusions are the lifeless substances in the cell membrane uh, uh, which is continuous in nature but in some places it is incomplete and the protoplasm of the adjoining cells runs together so such uh, undifferentiated protoplasm is called syncytia so generally we see that the cell membrane is a continuous structure but sometimes uh, it is incomplete and they can make the the protoplasm can make connection with the adjoining other cells and uh, in this way uh, there is formation of syncytia mocker like in the liver cells we can found these kind of structures or uh, syncytiums now the cytoplasm portion of the cell which is most important so it is the protoplasm actually which surrounds the nucleus and its uh, uh, and uh, it is uh, bounded peripherally by the cell membrane it may be homogeneous it may be vacuolated granular reticular or fibrillar depending on the type of the cell the cytoplasm consistency or the cytoplasm contents may vary cytoplasm is also capable of performing different kinds of work directed by the nucleus so this is very important and uh, uh, it contains actually the membranous organelles and which act as a matrix so the cytoplasm we also say that it is the matrix of the 
sel. In cytoplasm, there are cytoplasmic organelles uh, which contain membranous organelles mostly, then cytoplasmic uh, ribonucleic acid that is RNA, ribosomes, centrosomes and fibrils, filaments, tubules. Next, uh, the cytoplasm also contain the inclusions. So we categorize the cytoplasm in the two parts. One is cytoplasmic organelles, another is cytoplasmic inclusions. So um, the inclusions are basically non-living part and the organelles are basically living part of the cell. So these are in brief uh, the inner structure of the cell which is made up of cytoplasm, um, organelles and surrounded by the cell membrane. So this is the brief introduction of the animal 